this is Derek from ClassicGameRoom.com, and this is a game with a blatantly obvious and self-explanatory title. This is New Super Mario Bros. Wii, a series of words into which it would be virtually impossible to stuff any more adjectives. And that is unfortunate because I have a whole list of applicable descriptive phrases for this game, the most celebratory of which would be divine old-school platforming euphoria, and the most critical of which are, hey, where's the cream filling? Now, cream filling, of course, it's just an industry term. It's real insider lingo, uh, which basically means effort. And I'd, of course, be asking for the whereabouts of effort, because as awesome as New Super Mario Bros. Wii is, it often feels like Nintendo mailed this one in. New Super Mario Bros. Wii is, um, well, it, it's exactly what the title says it is. I mean, what do you want me to say? That New Super Mario Bros. Wii is a New Super Mario Bros. game for the Wii? Uh, come on, I got things to do, baby. I got castles to visit and princesses to save. And that's the great thing about New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It really captures the magic of the original Super Mario Bros. trilogy, adds a hearty spoonful of Super Mario World for flavor, and fries up a nostalgic pot of platforming paella, the likes of which has very, very few peers. Everything that makes a proper Mario game so much fun to play is present and accounted for in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. The classic enemies, the tried and true maneuvers, the characters an entire generation of gamers grew up with. It's all here, it's all awesome, and it hasn't aged a bit. The twist with New Super Mario Bros. Wii, of course, is that it's the first Mario Bros. game to really focus on multiplayer. Uh, enough so that it actually includes the first ever hop-in, hop-out, cooperative multiplayer mode in the long history of the series. At any point in Mario's adventure, up to three other players can grab a Wii remote and join you on your quest. At which point, the screen deteriorates into a chaotic frenzy, your friends will accidentally cause you to lose many a Mario, and there will be much laughter and rejoicing among your homicidal brethren. I wasn't at all looking forward to playing a Mario Brothers game with another player on the screen, to be honest, let alone three other players. Because to me, the most enjoyable aspect of the series has always been the precise leaps and challenging platforming sequences it dares you to make on a wing and a prayer. Uh, traits for which multiplayer would seem anything but beneficial. But I'm happy to say it works really well in this game, and provided you have a few willing cohorts, running through the Mushroom Kingdom is actually a lot of fun with a friend or two. Of course, multiplayer wouldn't be any good if the game itself weren't fun to play. And it is. It's very fun to play. In fact, it's ridiculously fun to play, and it serves as a forceful reminder to the entire industry that blood, guts, and 1080p really aren't worth a damn unless there's a fun game underneath the hood. New Super Mario Bros. Wii has a friggin' Hemi. The princess has been kidnapped, of course, for roughly the 87th time, and it's up to Mario to plow through eight side-scrolling Mushroom Kingdom locales and once again rescue the princess from the grimy claws of the Koopa King Bowser. You'd really think by now she would have better security. New Super Mario Bros. Wii and DS are the spiritual successors to the original four Mario platformers on the NES and the Super NES, so they feature the same run-and-jump gameplay fans have enjoyed since Nintendo was making arcade machines which were big cabinets with a monitor inside, and an insatiable appetite for what should have been your lunch money. A starvation! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 
Anyway, the worlds are diverse, the platforming is much more challenging than you probably think, and the gameplay and controls are the status quo. Which, for the Super Mario series, is sharp, precise, and smile-inducing. But as I mentioned earlier, it, it does feel like Nintendo mailed this one in sometimes, despite all the great things New Super Mario Bros. Wii does. And the most notable omissions pertain to the otherwise riotous multiplayer. You choose between Mario and Luigi, of course, and the roster is rounded out by two generic, nameless, identical Toad characters. Really? That's the best Nintendo could do? Two identical Toads? There have been more Mario games and characters introduced over the last three decades than rotations the Earth has made around the Sun. Yet they give us two filler characters for their biggest release of 2009? Hey Nintendo, where's the cream filling? This game misses loads of opportunities in the online realm. No online multiplayer, no online leaderboards, no level creator with online level sharing, and particularly for a game so much fun to play with others and for a series with such a devout community of fans. These seem like pretty obvious features to include, but Nintendo apparently is still under the impression that all of you and all of your friends, relatives, and acquaintances live on the same block. At the end of the day though, those are admittedly petty complaints relative to the undeniable charm and the masterful gameplay offered in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And like the heaping plates of pasta your little Italian nonna used to make, uh, you'll definitely, definitely go back for seconds. Woo!